Hey guys, my name is Bryce, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect to an SFTP server from the command line. In this example, the SFTP server we're going to be connecting to is SFTP Gateway. Before connecting to the server, there's going to be a couple values you want to find, such as the SFTP user you're going to be connecting with, and either the IP address or the host name of the server. Once you have the proper values, we can run the command to connect to the server. This command would be sftp, the name of your sftp user, at either the IP address or host name of your server. Once everything looks good, you can now run the command to connect to the server. Since my user is configured with a password, I will be prompted for this. However, some users may be configured with an SSH key instead of a password. Now that I've typed in my password, I'm now connected to the sftp server. Here, you have a couple options of what to do next. To list all the files in the directory, you can do ls-al. And then, to list all the files in your local directory, you can do lls. If you wanted to upload a file from your local directory to your sftp server, you can use the put command. In this example, we will upload the test file to our sftp server. And, as you can see, it has now completed. If we do the ls-al command again, we will now see our test file has successfully uploaded. If we wanted to download a file from our sftp server to our local directory, you can use the git command. Here, I'll download the error.html file. As you can see, it is successfully completed. And if we list our local directory and scroll up, we can see our downloaded file. That's all for this video. If you haven't already, please check out our other SFB Gateway related videos and content. And as always, have a splendid day.